everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we are in the demo fast track. Well, allow me stickers. We are in a JCB fast track 3220, an absolute animal of a tractor, putting out 200 plus horses. And yeah, so today we are Haron, as you can see behind me, and I just better get myself set up now. So the Haron is set up from the last day, so it should do a good job. So we're doing 9.9 .9 kilometers an hour here now. Tip her on, they were doing 12, getting this hard on the plowed ground. Travel fierce, fierce well. So all we have to do now is move off, her out the headland that wasn't done from the last day. And then we're going down the road to Hara, the garden for the potatoes, which hopefully will be going in sooner rather than later. It's up, it lifts, like that, let's back to throttle. And we go her out this headland. I'm just going to put down the camera till I get this done, just because I need to get back in the rhythm of harrowing with this tractor. It's one of the big things with this new machinery or machinery that's not you're not used to is to be able to get used to it before you start doing things extra so that you're comfortable. So anyways, I'll put down the camera and get bit this bit of her on done. Lovely bus that. But anyways, that is this hired out, so we spread the dung here last night and it just have to fold up the hair now. We'll go do the potato ground. The ground, the garden ground where we'll be going our potatoes, which hopefully, maybe, probably not, we might get some done today. Don't think so though, it's like five o'clock, four o'clock. I don't know. Time is always an issue for all these jobs. So, this is the potato ground, just finished harrowing, just finished harrowing out the headlands. Now, maybe wondering, that's not good enough, and yes, that is perfectly right. All I'm doing is, oh, what am I doing here? So what happens, you forget yourself, anyway. Anyways, so what I'm doing is just leveling out the plow ground. My uncle, as you would have seen in last year's video, saw on the potatoes, uh, or planting the potatoes, he come with his county, to uh, Rohovet, uh, he's going to be coming to Rohovet this field. Uh, we won't be putting it all in potatoes to go for the farm shop, but that's a story in the video for another day. I get this finished and then we go back out and we get the seed, barley seed hard into the ground and we get another field done and then we're down to one field, the field that we had our reclaiming, are doing a bit of which um, you mightn't have seen the video yet of filling the drains and the digger work and stuff going on. Doing a great job there, can't complain. And that's also slightly cool to be able to look at. We are back out here now. Father Phil has the seed on it. You can see now this was where the dung was, so it, that's why it's cloddy and, and hard of itself. But you can see the seed, barley seed. Uh, prospect, that's that's the variety we're sowing. It's Prospect, it's called. There's a good seed rake on in there now. Um, you can see, as you get out, just that area there is where the dung was tipped. You get out the field, you can see. And I'm gonna make a phone call because it is a Saturday. Bro is at home. I'll get him up, fly the drone, put some drone fudge in this video of the harrow, and all should be a good one. All should be a good one. Anyways, we get harrow on, and I'll run through some of the insides of the tractors, how it works, and that. If I can find somewhere to put the camera that allows you to see the control panel, because it's very, very hard to hold the camera and operate it, because it's not just as simple as the 6499, but then, for seven years between the tractors. So, 
Where we go? So, I think I could be going a little bit too deep. So I may have to change the harrow. Just let down the crumbler, lengthen that top link another bit, even though it's getting pretty long. Bro has just arrived into the field, so we're not take all day. So it's doing a smashing job. Absolutely smashing job. No. No, no, geez, we're, we're, we're spot on there. Just look, look at that soil. Look at that. That is, that's the only bit of soil we have that is like sandy in itself. It's the only bit of good soil like that we have. Most of it is heavy clay, but that's like sandy. And this field is a pretty colorful field, as you can see. You have light, dark, brown, and all the different colors. You see a lot better from the drone, but no, that's doing a grand job. So I'll get back in. We keep harrowing, bro, do his thing with the drone. Hopefully not crash into anything. And get a bit of unclean as well, but look at that baby, just look at it. That is some machine. Oh, it just looks so friggin' well, so this. Oh. Anyway, we get back to it. No, 
up the dust off. Point the main broke. So bro, what do you think? We're doing 12 and a half kilometers an hour there. What do you think? I like this tractor. You like it? Yeah. Why do you like it? Because it's not a lot more a lot more comfortable than the rest of them. Yeah? Yeah. Would you like this tractor for the summer then to do the wrapping? Yeah. Think it'd be a bit big. Maybe, but still it'd be very nice. Very comfortable. Any other observations, bro? The AC works. Yes, the AC actually works. Yeah, that's another ob observation. Observation. Father Phil is hooking up the zone manure there. So, it's all systems ago. Uncle Ian is finishing off the plowing out there. So, he's actually bit caught on tremendously well. Incredibly well. Far better than I ever thought he was going to know. So he has. So we'll go through this. Let's wash. We're slipping. We're not slipping. The diff is in. The diff is in. How will you see it through it? So we'll do one more run. I'll let you go off with Jessica because she probably wants to be getting home. She probably does. Yeah. Well, Jessica was with me in the cab, but I just didn't pick up the camera. But she was the same. Very impressed with how smooth it is. And the passenger seat is a great passenger seat, isn't it, bro? Yes, we need we need these like we need these in the masses. In the masses, yeah. Yes. Really. Coming into the wet spot, you might even see hold it up, bro, up there. You might see the water in the track from yesterday. So as we go into it, we just keep creeping up our draft control. And look at that. She just she sails through. Absolutely just sails through. She just keeps quite. Don't do it, it doesn't bury the seed. And it doesn't grow very well. And now we go backwards here. So, we just had part of fill in the, the camp here. I didn't record any we wanted, but just I looked, told them all about it, and yeah, it's, it's a tank where it does exactly what it says on the tin. Like every other tractor, once it works and it does what it says in the tin, he's happy out. But he still does like his bonnets to be the color red. So, but anyways. <clears throat> so I'll watch, kind of go through now is what you can see. Because I double checked and you can actually see everything that needs to be done. So the first switch I hit is a preset truck. And then that is for dough. So this has kind of three stages. So it has, where it is at the minute, it's down. But if you flick it the rest of the way, there's like a, a, a flick down. That means it just drops it fast. It's a fast drop. And then you have neutral and then you have up. You have your draft control here, which I don't really need at the minute because I'm out on good ground. On the wet ground, your hand is here and you're twisting at it. And it's not just like comparing it to the 6480, which is the same age. 6480 has the draft control in your armrest. A far nicer job when you're at this kind of a work. But this tractor does have, I can't think of the right, I, I can't think of the right word, it's the same as on the 6499, but has the, the oh, the tear, the, the slip, the slip control. So if it was set upright, you flick the switch there, comes up on the dash with the amount of slip you have, and your presets for 10%, 20%, you set your draft, and then it'll do the work and that's how it should work but we just couldn't get it to work great so i'm just using the draft control so i'm used to and especially in the wet spots you need to be on the ball that is that and we clean ourselves up we give ourselves some chocolate we flick down we give chocolate first so that i'm going in with going in with pow power and then dropping the harrow so it just picks up and keeps going you drop it first and then hit the speed you get a real big pull on the tractor to kind of get itself up and going but if you do it the other way around it's up and going when you get to the pull 
works a bit handier. So that's them buttons, that's your four wheel drive, and that, that's your diff lock. And one of the funny things with this tractor, and it was in some of the, the fast tracks, is it really and truly is only a five speed tractor because fifth and sixth gear both do 65 kilometers an hour, but sixth gear does it at 200 RPM less. So it's an eco gear, a little bit unnecessary, but still it's there, it does the job. That's the handbrake, you know, it's air brakes, you have all your switches there, and it's pretty straightforward then after that. And yeah, that's that's really it. So when we're finished here, I'd be giving the tractor a quick review. There won't be a review video just because three videos on a machine that I don't have for too long is more than enough, I think. So we'll squeeze in the review video into this and just give your thoughts what we think is what we buy one. Ground is harrowing up incredibly well. It, it's like it's like you're power harrowed it. So it is it's just how fine it is, nearly too fine. Doing a great job. So it is. Just finished now. One more headland to, to run off, and we are done. This field is sown, and we are down to one more field. That field out there, down green, is just finishing off our own. We are done. We're just about finished. So, 2019. It's not 2020. 2021. So, that is it. Finished field Harrod done the job rightly so just gonna give her a quick review and that will be it for today's video i have a bit of a garden to hire in a bit of barley seed not an acre in it so it's not going to take me too long but just finished it off now but the light is still on my side but um <coughs> yeah okay. it looks you want to judge that tractor and how it looks it looks oh. it looks spot on it just looks fierce fierce well the waves, the JCB, just that tractor just looks amazing, absolutely amazing. I just get into the cab just to talk more about it. It's a little bit easier to hear, maybe, just with the traffic on the road and that. Back in the Hara, it's sold up, ready to go now. So. Yes, the wind sometimes hits the, the, the mic and it can give off awful um, trouble. But um, yeah, that's it. That is this tractor, the fast JCB Fast Track 3220. What do I think? It is good. It is quite good now. We'll get to the bad points. The, the biggest gripe I have with this tractor has more, I think it's more this tractor than the make or model I'm, I'm not over sure because it could be an optional extra but the steering the steering is heavy as fuck it's it's very very and it's, it's done that way because of the speed of the tractor that's very solid on the road but doing the harrowing arm and shoulder is a wee bit sore but um not the end of the world but that would be my biggest gripe after that the other thing as well is the draft controls. I already talked about draft controls are here, but you kind of miss the, the massy you have it here, which the uh, same age of a tractor, that's where it is that you keep your hand arm here. But this tractor does have the slip control and it also, it works off radar. It has radar under the tractor, so it knows by matching the radar to the mechanical speed. It, it knows itself, but we just couldn't get that working. So I was manually controlling the the draft but that would be the only other that's really it it did as i said before it had really did surprise me when we went to the wet ground i was sure 
with the smaller radial tires, two equal size radial tires, the small size that she'd be just, she'd be liable to get stuck where the other tractors wouldn't. But she ploughed on to it, not a bit of bother to it, not a bit of bother. Pull the Hara, perfect. It's 200 plus horsepower tractor, so it was never going to be any issue pulling the Hara. Traction was great. Turn and circle, I thought was pretty good. So everybody's good, maybe even better than the 6499. The comfort, the biggest selling point on this is the sheer comfort going across the ground. The plough ground, the non plough ground, we went crossways at the, the first day or the first video, we went completely crossways, cross stitch all together. And she's as smooth as the top, and she could hold a cup of tea in your hand, you wouldn't spill it. That is where the, the that's where the biggest comfort is in this, especially with the Hara. There's no throwing around or bouncing or nothing. She's just so, so, so smooth. It's unbelievable. And yeah, that, that's it. She ticks every box. We've done the muck spreader. PTO worked, hydraulics worked perfect, everything. She ticks every box that we've put it into so far. It, it's ticked all the boxes, there's nothing else to say. It has done everything we've asked it to do. It surprised me with the, how well it pulled through wet ground. I was sure we were going to get stuck with the smaller wheels. But it, did, it just pulled us through it, no, not a bit of bother. And it's done everything we've asked it to do, like any other tractor would. So I suppose the next question, would I buy one? I think I still will. I always kind of had it in my head that I would buy a fast track. I always kind of liked them. If I was buy any other tractor brand, I think it would be a fast track. And it's kind of reaffirmed that, yeah, I think I will. Will I buy a model like this? I don't know. I suppose whenever the time comes that I have the money to spare and I go looking, it would be on the back of my mind a tractor like this. But I'd have to wait and see what's available and what money is at the time. But yeah, no, it is a quite an impressive tractor I'm happy with. And big, big, mahoosive thank you to, to Robert and Caelan Russell from Russell Fast Tracks for sending this tractor down to me, allowing me to get two days work out with it and see what it's like and get a feel for it. And, understand why fast track has such an appreciation because it is just yeah just really big thank you to them because otherwise they never get to drive tractors like these and it's it's ye watching the videos that makes people like them and other companies send out demos send out stuff to me to get to use and try and only for things like that i never get to try it unless i still be driving me massey and never get to see what any other tractors are like but no big thank you to them if you want to know more about Russell Fast Tracks, there'll be links and stuff in the description down below to their Facebook page and whatnot for you to check it out. They are your one stop shop for everything and anything to do with Fast Track. Whether you're looking to buy one, you have a Fast Track and you're looking for work done to it, whether it be rebuilding gearboxes, rebuilding the hydraulics, engines, suspensions, you name it, they are just a one stop shop for anything fast track related so you can head on in the description down below if you want to get in touch with them or keep an eye on their facebook page for when they get a new fast track in stock for sale and whatnot but well, i'm going to leave it at that for today's video i hope you've enjoyed this video as much as i've enjoyed getting to use and drive this tractor that is it for me please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that is it for me good luck